automatically kind of make the case for ongoing medication, um, for instance, particularly in depression, which is thought of even in primary care as a chronic disease um, with, you know, a person who has one episode has a 50% chance of having a second, 75% chance of having a third, or maybe 90%, uh, I, may, I may have it mixed up. But that point is made to justify why somebody needs to get into treatment and stay on it. Um, even though in some of the algorithms, it says after six months you should evaluate whether the person should stay on it. Now, I don't know to what extent that happens routinely, but I think that maybe out of laziness, maybe out of habit, you know, maybe it's just become automatic that to make sure people are covered, quote unquote, you know, without, and, and there really isn't, we don't create an environment for questions to come up like what uh, Wilma is asking to, to challenge whether for that given individual, whether it makes sense to continue and perhaps to take a chance that they may not have a second or a third episode mm -hmm. if they were to stop and then be educated about what the warning signs are that you know, maybe a depression is returning and then intervene you know, if needed. I'm glad you said that because 